So I've been watching this channel for the last few days. It's about a guy who is the master god of oil. It's the only way I know how to put it. He has like a master's degree in oil. Motor oil, like oil. He's an expert in oil. He builds race cars and has all the test equipment. He can test oil and viscosities and contaminations and uh, who knows all. I mean, he dazzles you in oil. And what's really funny is it's entertaining. I end up watching the whole video of oil and it's just, yeah, it's a real education. So he was made a video that I have not seen where he changed the oil on his car. I don't know what car. Like I said, I hadn't seen the video. He talked about it. And he filled the oil filter up with oil before he put it onto the engine and then filled the engine with the remainder amount of oil. And apparently his comment section just lit up with people telling him he didn't know what he was doing. The, the master god of oil doesn't know what he's doing. Because that oil that according to these commenters is dirty you just pour dirty oil that is not going to get filtered and it's going to go through your engine and so you're going to contaminate your engine it's terrible what are you doing and i'm thinking you know as he's talking isn't oil clean i mean you mean tell me that new oil brand new oil is contaminated and when you think about filtration, I mean, filtration is not all that great. I mean, we're talking like 10 microns. I mean, I wouldn't drink water with 10 micron filtration. So it's, it's not like the greatest filtration in the world, at least in my mind. So he gets into this video that I'm watching. And he's talking about how he's in just chewed out. And he's like, oh, no, I'm just, I'm terrible. And I guess I don't know what I'm doing. And so what does he do? He tested it. So what he did was he tested new oil compared to oil that he just poured through a filter. What he did was he hand turned the engine so oil would go through the filter and when it was through the filter he took the oil out of the filter and tested it. Guess what? The oil in the bottle, brand new oil, was cleaner than the oil in the filter. Which I would have thought true because the engine, you know, even though you drain the oil out, isn't necessarily completely clean. It still has dirty oil in it. So that made sense. And he's, uh, then he, then he tested the wear on the engine. The reason he poured oil in the filter was so oil will immediately go into the engine and start lubricating the bearings and the pistons and all that stuff. That way, it, it, there's just no wear. So he tested how fast oil reached a certain port or point in the engine with the filter not on, you know, not filled, and with the filter filled. And the first crank, his hand crank, the gauge immediately went up to pressure when the filter was full of oil. But then when he cranked it with the filter no oil, it took two or three cranks for that oil to reach the engine. And he, as anybody should know, startup of an engine is the most damaging part of the engine life. Anytime you start the engine, so if you're constantly on and off, on and off, on and off, it damages the engine. I just showed an example of this the other day. I let the John the lawnmowers run if they're you know I'm loading a trailer or something. I let them run, even though it damages the ignition coil. I'd much rather replace a ten dollar ignition coil than replace a damaged engine. So I leave it run because I don't want to start it, stop it, start it, and stop it. So that that makes sense. So. The thing that struck me the most about this video was the hubris, the arrogance, the, the notion that this guy in the comment section somehow knows more because my grandpa told me so or whatever than the master god of oil. What is that? 
this this is just insane to me and being a youtuber for as many years as i've been on youtube i think it's i'm at seven or eight years now i don't remember so it is frustrating you know i people get in my comment section all the time and tell me i'm doing things wrong all the time and i know for sure they're not the one that gets me the most like i'll be canning for something that's not right my grandma used to can and put paraffin on it or bacon grease or you know whatever to seal up the, the cans okay your grandma did it that way but did you think that the rules may have changed since then now we have pressure canners better technology we know more about bacteria we know more about uh, botulism maybe it's safer doing it this way but no my grandma did it that way that makes me an expert it makes you nothing it makes you a commenter here's what I, i'm bothered by so you'll watch a channel about oil who watches channel about oil i mean seriously maybe a mechanic maybe but this guy's got thousands hundreds of thousands of subscribers gets thousands of views tens of thousands of views and somebody's going to come in there to the master god of oil and tell him he doesn't know what he's doing well why'd you go watch are you so good at everything that you don't need to learn anything so instead of coming to my channel and telling me you don't know how to can my grandma didn't do it that way maybe try to learn because that's why you came to the channel was to learn i mean I get tired of the comment section, and I think a lot of YouTubers do. You know, people say, don't, don't feed the trolls. I feed them constantly, and then I block them. I, uh, I mean, there's just nothing. It just, and they're, they're, the thing is, is they're not trolls. The, this society has become so narcissistic and so arrogant. I desperately, desperately try to humble myself. I, I, I'm constantly... I'm, I think the 11th commandment was don't be a hypocrite but the 12th commandment was don't be arrogant and so I really do try to to live by these rules now I know as a, a younger man I had some arrogance about me and the older you get the more knowledge you get and the more you realize the more you know the less you know and you Kruger Dunning effect the less you know the more you think you know so as a young person you don't know that much but you think you know everything but as you grow older and you get more knowledge you know more but you also know what you don't know if that makes sense you know there are things you don't know now I consider myself a pretty good lawnmower mechanic but that doesn't mean I stop learning I don't need to know that like oil I actually learned quite a bit from this channel about oil and synthetic oils and regular oils and where oils come from and do you know that oil is different depending on where it's coming from it's all quite in incredible so I find it interesting uh, especially on YouTube having this insight on it how arrogant people are but it doesn't stop there because people will tell me in the comment section all the time YouTube and social media is different people are different on social media they get brave and they start typing things out but that's not true people in real life are arrogant people will bring me a lawnmower a weed ear well actually a weed ear is a perfect example a guy brought me a weed ear since I can't get these to run I've changed out the carburetors and you know just all kinds of different things yeah, and uh I can't get it to run I, I'm sure there's you know something pretty serious with it so I I think on the one I put a pressure or uh, compression tester on it I guess what it was a compression test I remember I took a picture of the compression and it had low compression so somebody put regular gasoline most likely in it instead of fuel oil mixture so I, I call him up and said look it's a probably not worth fixing this up I can I can fix it I can put a new piston in a new cylinder the whole thing cylinder head I, I can do it all 
but it's probably not gonna be worth it so he comes in picks it up and says well I guess I'll just have to fix it <laughs> uh-huh and uh, I mean he the first thing he, he did was he had to give me his qualifications he ran a sawmill so that makes him an expert in all things mechanical apparently I just don't understand it if you were going to fix it why didn't you just fix it in the first place and leave the dummy mechanic out of it why even waste your time just go fix it you know what's wrong with it if you knew what was wrong with it then why didn't you say bring it over and say hey it doesn't have any compression uh, you know maybe maybe I don't have maybe he didn't have time to fix it but he didn't so I guess I just don't understand people I, I, I get that all the time just the other day guy comes over says I got two lawnmowers and boy he was confusing I couldn't keep up with him first of all he said he had a lawnmower he wanted to bring over that's losing power when he turns on the mower okay that's great and then he shifts gears and says but the points need to be changed and I said I'm sorry I, I don't do restorations I didn't realize this was an older mower for what a reason when you're talking I, I thought you're talking about a newer mower he says yeah the, the, the newer mower is losing compression, but the older mower needs new points. And I said, okay, well, I, I don't want to work on that one. I, I, you know, it's hard to get parts for them. Oh, I, I got so many stories. One guy comes over and wants me to work on a wheel horse and says, it won't run. Uh, I need you to take a look at it. And I said, sorry, I don't do restorations. I can't find parts for them. It doesn't need parts. It just needs fixed. And I said, it's going to need something. It's probably a carburation issue. And I'm, so I'd have to get a new carburetor or carburetor parts to rebuild it. Oh, I thought when you met parts that you were going to have to like, you know, buy parts. He literally said like you were going to have to buy new parts. Isn't carburetor and carburetor components parts? So you know, they just, they know everything and they don't know anything. I don't I guess I guess I just don't get it I don't know who said it but I know my grandpa said it my grandpa said it's better to keep your mouth shut and let everybody think you're stupid than to open your mouth and remove all doubt I would rather, even when somebody's coming over and telling me what's wrong with their lawnmower and how I should fix it and everything, I just let them talk. I don't really get involved in, in the conversation. I go, okay, 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 okay. And then I bring it down here and I work on it and fix it with what's really wrong with it. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you're arrogant because you get on Facebook and you talk about how great you are and all that stuff. I try not to. As a matter of fact, I am pretty confident that my channel does so poorly because I am very low ego most leaders most YouTube channels and company leaders and world leaders have this arrogance about them where they know everything whether they know it or not they know it and that what makes them excel I mean think about it our presidents just full of confidence even though they have no idea what they're talking about so I come on here and I'll tell you well I think maybe this could be it this could do we could do this we could try that that's not confidence that shows doubt and so people don't follow that and people aren't like that people want to outdo the youtuber or the you know the expert <clears throat> and it really showed his face on that guy's channel I've never seen anybody smarter with oil. I mean, he has dedicated his life to oil. The one thing nobody really thinks about until it's time to change it and they take it over to the, to the shop and say, hey, change my oil. What, a hundred bucks? That's about it, that's all, that's oil, okay, oil. So it just, it kind of amazes me that any mechanic, anybody would challenge this guy. The world has come, uh, in a dangerous place in my opinion and that's why I don't hang around with people it's they're just too dangerous they know more than everybody else they send you Google links or they copy and paste Google 
information and make it like it's their own to tell you that you're wrong and, and you know it's not their information the other thing they do is they tell you their qualifications I'm 70 years old and I worked in the mechanics business all my life yeah yeah where'd you work well you know in my backyard I did a you know I worked in my car once <laughs> so if you click this up next box it'll take you to a video I was talking and working about something so I hope I can inspire you to be humble so you can live your dreams thanks for watching